Have I been hearing you right? There is snow possible tonight? Yep, you heard that four letter word. In the valley? <laughs> Yeah, but not a lot. Uh, there's a chance coming in with a cold front this evening, so there may be a few hours of some light snow showers. Uh, it'd probably stick mainly to the grass, but some of the roadways will be cold enough that it might stick as well later on this evening. Right now, things are dry and clear across the area. The temperature is 23 degrees in Boise, and we're looking at a cold front up on the Pacific Northwest coast that we start moving in and our area toward evening. Right now, air stagnation advisories remain in effect because we still have the high pressure over us. Notice that front approaching into Portland and Seattle with rain mainly, but some snow showers over the mountain areas, the Cascades especially, and as that low pressure trough pushes inland, the front will begin to approach our area toward late this afternoon and this evening. And uh, clouds will increase over northern Idaho as they are right now, over eastern Oregon through the morning and into the afternoon, and finally into southwestern Idaho later on this afternoon. In the meantime, the air stagnation advisory remains in effect through tomorrow morning from eastern Oregon into southwest Idaho, mainly because the inversion is still in place and trapping a little bit of pollution. Nothing too serious at this point, but our air quality has been in the moderate range in many areas, including McCall and Weezer this morning. Good over in Garden Valley and Idaho City, but moderate air quality here in the Treasure Valley and over in the Magic Valley as well. Good up into the Ketchum and Sun Valley areas. So as we watch this front move on shore, as it moves inland, look for clouds increasing this afternoon and by late this evening after dark, about eight, nine o'clock or so, we'll see a little band of light snow moving in. Now mountain areas will see one to two inches of snow with this system, pretty fast moving, maybe up to a half inch of snow in some parts of the Treasure Valley, trace over toward the Magic Valley later on this evening. In fact, by midnight, most of us through the area. There will still be clouds and a few snow flurries around during the night, but clearing up by tomorrow morning and throughout the day tomorrow and into Thanksgiving Day. So as the system moves in, expect temperatures ahead of it to warm up a little bit into the upper 30s and low 40s in the Magic Valley with the increasing clouds. 39 in Burley, 42 in Twin Falls, and 41 in Jerome. Sun Valley, 37 today. 40 in Stanley, 35 degrees in Haley with partly cloudy skies. That chance of snow showers increases toward afternoon and evening in the McCall, Donnelly, and Cascade area. As temperatures get up just above freezing, 36 in Council. Partly to mostly cloudy skies through the afternoon in the Treasure Valley with temperatures in the upper 30s there. 40 degrees in Nampa, 41 in Boise this afternoon. And then that chance of snow into the evening, tapering off overnight by morning, clearing up and a high of 42 tomorrow. Mostly sunny and a bit breezy, but Thanksgiving Day, sunshine and 42 degrees, dry through Thanksgiving weekend, and then a chance of rain and snow again by Sunday and Monday. So any concerns for travel right now, tonight, tomorrow morning, and then again late in the weekend.